Welcome back to Troy's Garage. My name's Troy. This is my garage. In today's video, we're doing, uh, well, it's kind of a sponsored thing. They sent me a tool uh, to check this thing out. You've already seen the title. You've already seen the thumbnail. So let's just get right after it. So if you've watched my channel for any length of time at all, first of all, thank you. If you're new here, welcome. For you old timers, uh, you've seen me use the Teslong borescope comes in this fancy little case, has a camera with an LED on the end of it, flexible camera, you can form it to whatever you want, you look down inside the cylinders, you can look down inside your gas tank, those type of things. I have loved this tool, I've used it a ton, and Teslong actually saw some of the videos that I've done, and they've liked my content, so that's pretty cool. But they reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to try out our latest model? Sure. Send it over. So full disclosure, they sent me this free of charge. They asked me to just give it a, a review, uh, an unboxing kind of thing, uh, show some of the features on it. It's kind of convenient that this is happening right now because I have a home use for this as well. You've seen these things used in automotive applications all the time, but I have an, an electrical issue at my house in my basement. I need to kind of scope this out and see, hopefully this will be long enough to reach in where I need to see. But let's get this thing open, see what we're doing. Comes in a case that looks almost identical to the other one. There's the back of it. Let's crack it open and see what it looks like on the inside. So here's the original, the first one that I've had. Uh, I've used this one quite a bit. It comes with some really cool features. I know very little about this one right here. This is the first time I've even opened this. I'm not sure what it even looks like. All right. Okay, so that stays connected there. Little joystick for directing the camera. This is gonna be cool. It's kind of like a video game. All right, let's see what the unit itself looks like. With all the glares on it. Power button, different options. There is a camera option on the old one. Um, I can take video, I can take pictures, I can do those type of things. I'm assuming that this one probably has similar features. I'm gonna have to do some reading probably. Um, I also probably need to charge this up. So I'm going to get this thing plugged in. My battery and my camera is about to die as well. Let's charge all the things. All right, the model number on this thing is an NTS 500. This is a USB-C uh, charger. We're going to plug that in. Got a red light on the power button. I'm assuming that means that it's charging. I don't know if that'll change to a green when it's charged or not. But we'll... All right, while that's on the charger, let's take a look at everything else that comes in the box. There is the cable that goes between the handheld unit and the actual joystick. I'm gonna call that a joystick. I don't know what else to call it. Um, I do wanna play with that and see what, like how the control is for the camera itself. Okay, I can see it's trying to do a thing. Also in the box, Safety warnings. Uh, don't eat the. Don't eat it. A little return label if something's wrong with it or whatever, or it actually has a dislike thing as well. I don't know. There'd have to be something wrong with it for me to not like it. I can tell you that right now. And then the actual user's manual itself. Looks like it's not a booklet, it's a holdout. All the different functions and whatnot. All right, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time looking at this just so that I'm familiar with all the features and whatnot. And then we'll plug this thing in and start using it. So after plugging the unit in to charge, I went in for some dinner. Let's check on this. Oh, looks like it's fully charged when the light goes off. All right, let's get the thing put together and see how this thing works. Power it on for the first time. Ooh, you know what? I need to put a memory card in it. Actually, the little symbol says there's a memory card in it already, is there? Oh, there is. What the heck? It came with a memory card. 32 gigs worth of a memory card, in fact. Cool. And the light's on, on the camera itself. I'm not sure. This, uh, 
<laughs> so many, so many things. Oh, button number three. This button right here takes a picture. There we go. That's how it works. Uh, it does take three hands to use. You got the handheld unit itself. You got this, and you've got to direct the camera to different places. So this is going to take some getting used to, but let's go use this in a real-world scenario and see if we can figure out my can light in the basement. So welcome to our echoey basement. Hopefully the audio comes through fine, but this is all unfinished space down here. I did uh, a couple of short videos on YouTube where I was framing different walls and stuff down here. Um, got this much of the floor done. I took the time out to do some electrical. We've got four can lights on one switch with a dimmer and supposed to have two on the other switch. But this one, no worky. I can take that light and switch it with that light and this still doesn't work. That tells me there's something wiring going on behind the scenes. This is brand new sheetrock, brand new texture, just barely painted. I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to cut into this side of it to get to the electrical. That's where the little box is uh, that links lights together and back over to the switch. I'm hoping that this camera is long enough to reach from this side of the wall out to here. We can kind of see what's going on. I highly doubt we're gonna be able to fix anything, but this is gonna be a good test to reach back in there and just see if we can see anything at all. So I'm gonna get set up with the camera on this side of the curtain up in there reaching back over there to see what we can see so i'll get all set up and then we'll poke that camera in there see if we can make that little tip go and find it see if we can see it We're still in the basement. This is the bathroom, and this duct is cut right into, or this vent, I should say, is cut right into the supply line for the heating and air conditioning. So poking the camera up in here, we're gonna literally see right into the ductwork. The furnace is that direction, so that's the direction I'll go, uh, just to kind of see what all we can see. So I'm gonna start this recording again. Camera, mirror, I got it. And let's go up inside the vent and see what we can see. I'm all tangled up with my cords and stuff. Whoa, just about dropped it. Don't do that. Okay, let's go. In the vent. So there's a line that goes up and out to one of the other rooms or whatever. Let's turn the corner. Let's see what we can see here. Just kind of shove it all the way back in there. And then we'll have a peek around. Okay, we're scraping up against the bottom again because the thing seems to be heavy and that's just what it prefers to do. Look up. There's one of the joints. You can see the sheet metal screws holding the joints together. Along one side. Yep, right there, sheet metal screw. Uh, camera's kind of at a different up, down, left, right, but It would take a lot of practice to get used to exactly where this thing's aiming and what it's looking at. All right, back from our little adventure in the basement. <clears throat> I did figure out a couple of the features on this thing. Show them here on the camera. This top button right here it looks like a little light icon or a sun burst icon. That you can adjust the LED brightness on the camera itself. So when you first turn it on, it's on the full bright. One click goes down, dimmer, finally off. One more click puts it back on again. 
So that's how that portion of it works. Uh, the M is for mode. Uh, there is some settings and that sort of thing. You can get into playback. You can replay videos and such like that uh, that are stored on the memory card. But yeah, I mean, I, I see myself using this tool quite a bit. Uh, if you press and hold the mode button down, that's what changes it from... Actually, nope, it's just a single click. That's playback mode. That's one of the videos that we just played or just stored. Uh, camera mode for taking pictures. Press mode again, goes to video mode. You can tell by the little icon in the upper corner. Back to playback, back to camera, back to video. So that's how that portion of it works. There's your settings. You can set your date, shutter speed, different items like that. So all in all, this is a pretty handy little uh, unit. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put it through its paces and whatever I need. Actually, you know what? I've never looked inside of this gas tank. This is a 1972 F100 Sport Custom. Uh, the tank in it is new, but it's new as of 2021. So it's at least three years old, three and a half years old. Uh, it has been stored with some fuel in it, uh, and I've never looked inside the tank. I did get this truck running off of that tank and the fuel system that was on it, except I replaced, I had to replace the fuel filter and one of the soft lines. Actually, I think I replaced all the soft lines, now that I think about it. It's been a minute, but clearly I got this thing all torn apart. If you're into this sort of thing, like, subscribe, uh, click the little bell thingy because then you'll be notified when I post videos about this. Lots of videos coming on this guy. Let's shove that camera down inside the filler neck and see what's happening inside this tank. Real world test again. Yep, smells like gas. Hold the power button, it turns it on. And then, see this is the part that gets a little bit awkward. You got multiple devices. So you have to find a place to set this thing down that it's not going to fall. This is literally the only thing I don't like about this thing. And it's a pretty expensive tool. I'll leave a link down below to the Amazon storefront. But I do try, when I use the camera, I do try to... In fact, let me get this set up so it'll record. Let's start recording. Okay, it's recording. I do... I've, I learned this on the other unit as well. When I when I try to aim this thing, I twist the camera until up is up, <laughs> if that makes sense. So this one's a little bit easier to see which way is up because you push the joystick up and the thing moves in the up direction for the orientation of the camera. See that? So if I push up, the camera aims up. So now I know the orientation is correct. So let's see what's happening down inside the tank. Get down inside here. I'm going to try not to dip this in fuel. I don't know how much fuel is in this. Uh, there is fuel in it. Maybe a third of a tank. But it looks clean as can be. I don't want it to dip down into the fuel itself. There's the pickup tube up line. There's the center unit. And, oop, I don't want to go any farther down. But yeah, pretty, pretty handy. And just make sure that this thing's clean again when it comes out. It smells a little bit like fuel, but that's all right. No worries. Pretty handy little unit. Take it apart for storage, just undo that and pull. This stores, it's got a wide part where I'm assuming the battery is. There's an indentation in the box for that to sit down in. It does, the screen does have a protective film on it. I leave that on there. In fact, you can still see this one's on it as well. And I've used this one a lot. I've owned this for several years. I like both of them. Uh, the the less expensive one 
this guy here. I'll leave a link down for both of these, but this one is a little easier to use because it's all in one unit and then you just have the camera that you're aiming. That makes this one easier to use. This one's more uh, versatile, I guess, because it has the little joystick and you can like aim this thing around. You can see it like squirming around like a worm. So it would take some getting used to for you know learning how to do that and make it accurate. But I'm sure if you used it more and more, you'd get better and better at it for sure. But undo this one. I'm just gonna pack it back up and we'll store it for the next time we need it. <laughs> and we'll store it for next time. I do like the storage case. That is handy. So this is the NTS 500 TD 400. Yeah, pretty slick. Mm -hmm.